Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys and today we're going to be checking out an amazing and easy to use Town Hall 16 attack strategy. Let's keep it as easy as possible. Eight Azure Dragons, three clone spells, two free spells, a poison spell and a rage spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle troops normally we're going to be using two yetis, four sneaky goblins and a wall breaker inside the battle blimp or log launcher. Hero equipment as you can see here guys, I've got the giant gauntlet on the king with the rage vial, the queen we're trying out the new frozen arrow that is amazing and on the grand warden we've got the healing tome that's the main changes use default equipment if that's all you've got guys because this is a nice and easy to use attack strategy we're going to be cloning the azure dragons for more power so first stage of the attack normally is going to be funneling your dragons into the base because we need to make sure those dragons go into the base where they can do maximum damage. So king and queen on one side of the base here. Hopefully they take out that air defense. The queen will in just a moment. So that's one side of our funnel. You can use the king one side, the queen the other side or an azure dragon by itself. And then we're going to send in the dragons in the center. We've got an azure dragon on the left there, like I mentioned, to help funnel. Then send in your battle blimp through the Grand Warden's ability. Use his ability to protect the Battle Blimp, then all of your concentration needs to be on the Battle Blimp. I like to use a Rage spell on the Town Hall to make sure the Yetis will take it out. And they have on this occasion. And then, guys, it's just about using your hero abilities and using those clone spells wisely. I would try and clone some of the Azure Dragons. Or if you're struggling to take out the Town Hall, of course, you can use a clone spell on your Yetis as well. The Azure Dragons are really good if you get them into the core of the base. They can do loads of damage to multiple targets. Then send in your raw champion when it's safe to do so. What I mean by that is have a look at the battlefield and think, okay, the enemy king's there. I won't send in the raw champion there. Just where it looks like the raw champion will have a nice, easy path through the base to do loads and loads of damage. Now, we know the Azure Dragons are really powerful. They're really good. We know they're probably not as powerful as the old event troops, but they're still a lot better than Super Dragons and things like that. So if you do want an easy attack strategy, I think Azure Dragons with clone spells, that's pretty easy, guys. There's not much to worry about. And we do have another replay we're going to check out in just a moment. The Royal Champion doing a great job there and guys if you're thinking about what to spend your dragon medals on i would say the frozen arrow is really good it will help with queen walks and things like that so if you want to improve your queen walking then definitely get that frozen arrow so what are we going to do on this base again it's a bit of a funnel because we want to send in those dragons to the core of the base on these sorts of bases i like attacking from the side normally the side where the queen is so king and queen in that right corner hopefully they take out the multi-archer tower and the ricochet cannon then a beautiful spam attack here send in the dragons send in the battle blimp use the grand warden ability there we go then all of your concentration again on the town hall rage spell down oh no a tornado trap will be okay we've used the king ability over there to help out and hopefully the town hall will get taken out in just a moment i hope so yes that was close guys very close now we're trying to keep those dragons in the core of the base remember to clone them guys all i would say is have a look at the battlefield and think okay we could need another azure dragon there and then use the clone spell you could use all three clone spells at once get three more azure dragons remember cloned units don't last the whole battle so it's probably better using it a bit later on when you can see where you need them if you use them right at the beginning they won't be there very late on in the battle. Royal Champion, again, is very, very important. I would say heroes and pets. Queen with the Unicorn. King with the Phoenix. Royal Champion with the Spirit Fox or Diggy, depending what you've unlocked. And then the Grand Warden with Diggy if the Royal Champion is with the Spirit Fox. But the Spirit Fox is absolutely amazing. Probably the best hero pet combination with the Royal Champion, I think. Are we going to get three stars? It's going to be close on this base. So we're going to speed things up a bit. But yeah, guys, on this channel, what I try and do is find you nice, easy to use spam attacks for the casual player like myself. Because, guys, I'm 312 million years old. I can't do advanced attacks, so I need easy to use spam attacks to try and get three stars. And this is one of them. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And remember on this channel, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases. Our code is code moose. Any support would be absolutely lovely of you. Have a lovely day. Remember to practice your funneling and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.